Paleocene Reservoir in the ConocoPhillips J Block was a major target in the 1990s, with the potential to deliver millions of barrels of oil. But it is extremely difficult to get to. Over five years, nine wells were drilled, but there were numerous issues with the original well design. Every time we solved a problem, another one occurred. Production rates were poorer than expected because too much of the well path was outside the thin reservoir. And we couldn't control the solids, which were able to come through the holes in the slotted liner and restrict production. The reservoir pressure dropped off quickly and most of the wells collapsed. Over time, we discovered that the reservoir was much larger than first thought and we noticed that the reservoir pressure was recharging. We could recover a lot of reserves if we could overcome the technical challenges and avoid repeating past mistakes. And then, one day in 2015, a conical Phillips engineer had a brainwave. We needed to visualize the reservoir in real time as we drilled. This would let us steer the drill bit and stay in the reservoir for longer. This technique is called geosteering. The idea was simple, but it would require collaboration between all our teams. Mm. To be able to drill and complete the well successfully, we would need to control the well pressure within a very tight window. Too much pressure would damage the reservoir and cause drilling problems, too little pressure and the well bore would collapse. The solution was to use managed pressure drilling to accurately control the well pressure. Another part of the puzzle was how to prevent solids from blocking up the wells again. The solution was to use sand screens to filter out the particles of rock and grains of sand from the oil during production. The well was approved. Go for it! And the drilling rig mobilized to the field. And the top hole sections were drilled. We set up mission control, where the team could monitor the operations remotely. Easy does it. Here, the team began a delicate stage. The reservoir was too depleted to place the casing shoe inside. But placing it too far away might cause the well bore to collapse. Instead, the shoe was located 10,000 feet down and placed just above the reservoir into a formation just eight feet thick. Meanwhile, on the top sides, flow line design was simplified and streamlined. Every pipe spool, valve and instrument was assessed for its value to the well and its design was modified. Major pipework spools were also redesigned to allow more construction to be done ahead of the well completion. This reduced the critical hookup and commissioning period. At the same time, drilling of the reservoir section got underway. We used the ENSCO 120 to rack back long sections of casing and tubing, ready to be run in the well. This was the first time that tubing had been racked while drilling and it saved a lot of time. And there were other efficiencies. The ship and skip system for collecting rock cuttings was modified to allow continuous work even during bad weather when the cranes were out of action. And the MPD rig up was simplified to speed up installation times. Using live data from offshore, live CCTV and historical well data to support decision making, we could constantly monitor the position of the drill bit within the reservoir. So the team was able to make subtle adjustments to the direction of the well. Looking good, feeling good. When the well reached final depth and the drill bit was pulled out of the hole, the last big engineering challenge was controlling the solids production. To prevent the sand screens becoming plugged with drilling mud, we designed a special acid soluble system. It worked. The screens did not clog up and they could protect the pipe. With the well complete, we could install the Christmas tree and begin hookup and commissioning using an innovative process called 3D SIMUPS, which allowed hookup and commissioning activities to progress simultaneously. This meant we completed ahead of schedule with zero unplanned delays. SIMUPS, combined with the simplified flow line design, led to a new UK hookup and commissioning record for a high-pressure, high-temperature well. This incredible engineering achievement was the result of a single moment of inspiration and amazing cross-functional collaboration. 
but it took a remarkable team effort to make it possible.